hello guys welcome back to our youtube channel we bring to you today the mornings of the 21 collapse building as twain abraham reacts and cries out over this the nollywood actress cried out about brain heartbroken about the equi building collapse which occurred on monday 1st november 2021 it was indeed a very sad occurrence and a lot of families who have their loved ones all trapped in the building have been crying both to the Lagos state government to the world at large to help them concerning this issue and it has been a very sad sad story as a lot of deaths have been recorded and few people have been able to make it out the post shared on instagram Terry abraham said hearing the news of the incident to make her sad and reading about the death and injuries make her heart bleed and broken no one will hear this and will ever remain the same knowing fully well that these people have loved ones these people have people that they care about all trapped in the rubbles and the debris of this building Tony abraham expressed sympathy for families in a state of dilemma on whether to be hopeful about their family members yet to be found or prepare for the worst the actress said she had been praying for strength for the family and life for the trapped victims assuring them that they were not all alone in this difficult time it is so hard to actually console any parents mother father wife brother whatever the family is it's so hard to actually accept one's fate knowing fully well that a lot could have been done to rescue a lot more people but the Lagos state government team that are in charge of this rescue are less trained and have less experience in the field and this even made the story even much sad and heartbreaking it was said that a lot of people were still very much alive as at the time of the incident calling and calling until they ran out of battery and also voices were being heard that they are here that is they were very much alive as at that time on the first of november till the second day but afterwards someone who is trapped in an enclosed place no air no light no water most eventually died of some of these things that they lacked at the moment a lot of Nigerians and also celebrities have reacted one way or the other to this. And Choi Yebra took to her Instagram page and wrote, and I quote, Hearing the news of the Koei Collapse Building made me sad. Reading about the news of death and injuries was saddening, but nothing prepared me for the videos of the family members of the victim I saw. My heart bled. I broke down. How do you tell these people to have hope when the days and time are going by? Four days gone now. Some of them don't know whether to keep hoping or prepare for the worst. I have been praying for strength for the family and life for the trapped victims. Please, dear family members, I want you to know that you are not alone. God is with you and our best wishes and prayers are for you. We sincerely pray that at this critical time, you will find strength, hope and courage to be strong for the victims gone, those in the hospital and those still trapped. Please be rest assured that you are not alone. We are praying with you. God who knows best will do the best. End quote. This was Tony Abraham sharing our thoughts, our pain and our prayers with the family of those trapped in there and those that have lost their loved ones in the process as well. It may interest you to also know that Nollywood actress Zaina Balogu has a brother, a cousin specifically, trapped in there and who was eventually found dead Balogun penned down an emotional tribute to her brother and her cousin Samuel who died in the Okoye collapse building Abraham, Funka Kirele and others have also reacted and sent in their condolences through the comment section Zainab took to her Instagram page to recount how the experience with her cousin went and wrote a long epistle as she said and I quote dear Sammy I really don't know where to start Sammy I'm going to miss you more than you could ever know I wish I could tell you more about what you mean to me you were more than my cousin you were my big brother you took care of me distance wasn't enough to stop you you always looked for me sam even when i don't want to be found i admire your vulnerability your ability to wear all of you your sleeve you showed me so much love all of us it hurts when i read your messages now just when i think i'm done crying it all comes back this is hard for us sam really hard you gave so much of yourself to everyone, literally poured out like a tap. I'd ask you for one and you'd give me ten. You're the definition of selfless. I'm going to miss hearing your funny laugh, giant story, and seeing that big smile. You, Toby, Kilon Shelley. 
i won't hear you say that again or rescue me last minute like you always do you shouldn't have gone like this and like we've said they had to take down a whole building mighty sam this will never be okay and will hurt forever i would end this by saying sleep well but knowing you you're probably on the moving even with a fast car already man like sammy i really love you brother end quote this was zena balogo a colleague also in the knowledge industry who lost her cousin and brother in the collapsed building the building was offset to receive a 15-story plan but eventually the owner decided to raise it to 21. it may also interest you to know that the owner and the builder of this story building which collapsed was also trapped in the building and declared dead also the ceo of first call home limited femi oshibono was granted a 15-story building plan at gerald road old ikoyi but he decided to raise the building to 21 story a lot of engineers that was working with him as at the time when he decided to raise the story to a 21 decided to resign and stop work because they knew the effect of what was going to come after lagos state government also went there to seal the place but late femi oshibono took the laws into his hands in a situation where the police officer will guide him and several other decided to harass and embarrass those who came and protest that the building should be brought down and it shouldn't be continued people are being recorded dead by the day there seemed to be a brewing crisis among the family members of the property owner whose body was recovered from the rubble as well one reports that femi oshibono's wife and other members of his family are allegedly fighting over the rightful ownership of his property including cash luxury cars and others the report said that oshibono's wife upon hearing about the incident and the subsequent date of her husband flew in from the united states of america as fast as she could however oshibono's wife was said to have been denied access to the late developers equi residence by deceased siblings sources said that both parties had arrived at the deceased residence with mobile police officers to claim oshibono's asset which is property cash luxury vehicles and other valuable items however neighbors in the vicinity shut them up to avoid being caught up with the crisis as there are still so many ongoing body recovery from the collapsed building and this should be their utmost priority first well our heartfelt prayers are with the family who have lost their loved ones mothers whose children are trapped in there wives who have lost their husbands breadwinners of families young and old who are trapped and those who are found dead we pray that god continue to be with the family console them and continually be with them well guys there you have it do not forget to like subscribe and drop your comment in the comment section below thank you bye